fashion seller in Nigeria or anywhere in the world and you've been looking for how to get vendor list or you've been looking for how to import things from Turkey down here to Nigeria or anywhere in the world for your small business I got you in this video so if that sounds interesting to you come on let's get into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are seeing me for the first time hello hi my name is Furo and i'm a portacot nigerian based youtuber i create content around lifestyle motherhood recipes everything in between if that sounds interesting let's be friends why not hit that subscribe button down there and let us get into the video so last year i did a video of me talking about how i used to import things from turkey to come and sell here in nigeria i think i just said this briefly in one of my video and a lot of you have been coming to ask me on instagram how can you do that for yourself how can you start that business and you remember last year i told you that 2021 is the money year we're making money this year and i don't want to make that money alone i want to make it with you guys i I decided to give you guys the tips and the tricks vendor list everything you need to do about important things from talking online or offline in this video so a disclaimer everything I'm going to share in this video is my experience shopping in Turkey and selling in Nigeria for almost five years so the first time I went to Turkey was in 2012 and probably the last time I went to Turkey was in 2015 2016 that was the last time I went to Turkey so please everything I'm going to say in this video I urge you to do your own research but you can use it as a base to start doing your research okay so without further ado uh, if you're someone that wants to travel to Turkey which I think is out of fashion right now because of high cost of um plane hotel bills which is going to just make your overhead very high people don't no longer travel i don't know but for me i think it's not necessary traveling anymore to go get your things because that that traveling is going to make your uh, product very very expensive because of the exchange in naira and dollar but i think traveling also has its advantage but some people don't have the money to travel at all they just have the money to buy online i got you all in this video because i'm going to be giving you everything including some vendor list okay i got you like that so this is my purse that's these are ports i have a lot of this kind of ports where i put in all my vendors i've ever purchased things from be it america be it turkey be it dubai everywhere i've ever gone to to shop for my business i put all their contact list inside a bag like this so that i don't miss it in case i need it in the future so this one is for turkey i couldn't get all of them but i got few of this one here so i'm going to be sharing some vendors right from this bag with you guys so you want to watch this video till the end okay and don't forget to subscribe because see again and you we are going to be making money this year all right all right so if you want to go to turkey physically i do not know about getting turkey visa because as of the time i was going to turkey i had american visa so if you have american visa or you have uk visa you can actually go to turkey visa free you can book your plane and just get to turkey and pay and get your visa on arrival you don't need to do any visa i do not have much information if you don't have uh, american visa or you don't have uk how to get direct turkey visa but if i see that you guys are interested in this topic a lot if there's a lot of people that are interested I'll do my research ask my contacts in turkey how they can get the visa and then i will bring that video for you so without out of the way if you have american visa you can get to turkey pay 40 dollars and get your visa on arrival as of the time i was going to turkey uh, at least 2015 it was for 2014 20, it was 40 dollars but right now i do not know how much it is so don't quote me so but you can get and also research if you can still get visa on arrival but when i was going to turkey you can get visa on arrival so there are cheap hotels to stay in turkey when you arrive the hotels are really cheap you can pay like 30 dollar or 25 dollar per night 
So sometimes you can get someone to share with if maybe if you travel with friends or family or someone you can you guys can split the bill and pay fifteen dollar each because it's business you're not going there to groove so you guys have to split the bill but if you don't get anybody to split the bill with you can you know pay by yourself and stay there but if you don't have the money when you get them you find other nigerians or other country african countries or other people that are looking for who to split the bill with and you guys can split bills like um, hotel bills split like taxi bills and all those bills that you guys are going to be making you can actually split them and pay half in half but the risk of staying with someone you don't know is your yeah, money if you move okay your yeah, money if you get legs so you gotta be careful with that so it's better you just pay and stay alone so that is it so and then you start looking for your vendors and all those things that's why i'm doing this video so you know from there you it will be easy for you just research so i'm not really doing this video because of people that want to go to turkey i'm doing this video for people that are in nigeria that want to order online but i just said i should take that part out of the way in case you want to go to turkey how you get your visa and all those things so you get your visa on arrival so if you are here in Nigeria and you want to go to Turkey and you want to buy Turkey stuff wholesale, first of all, the things you know is Turkey people sell their goods in cereal. They call it cereal. Cereal means you can have like six products or three products. So half of a cereal is three products and full cereal is six products. Guys, I mean one product. Let's say they are producing this shirt. You have to buy different sizes of this particular shirt, six pieces or different sizes of this particular particular share three pieces if you find someone that you will share the goose with but if not you have to buy each cereal each product you buy you have to buy it in a cereal they do not sell one one you can't buy this top one buy this one one except you see people that you share with which is really really difficult to find the only time you find someone to share with is when you guys have you are buying half half in half some of these sometimes you don't even have to go and hustle to look for who is going to buy half because most of these um uh, suppliers or manufacturers they already have people that want to buy half so they'll just split the half you know so may probably they'll give you two small one large or just mix the sizes for you and then you will take so that is it for the cereal another thing you have to understand is buying products direct from maybe your shipping guy or your gago guy can make your products very expensive because so they will make your goods a little expensive more than you will buy so i'll advise you contact the manufacturer directly and ask the manufacturer to ship your things to a cargo guy so it, it might be like like so if you under, you know understand what i mean so you buy from the manufacturer and then you ask the manufacturer please ship my stuff through a cargo guy if you have a cargo guy you ask the cargo guy to go pick it up for you and pack your stuff together and ship to you or you ask the manufacturer to ship your things so the bad side of having the manufacturer ship your things is if you're not buying a bo in bulk from this manufacturer or you're not buying everything you want to buy from this manufacturer it can be a little let's say you're just buying three series the manufacturer will be a little drag to ship your things to a cargo guy but if you're buying a lot of things from this particular manufacturer will be very very happy to ship your things to a cargo guy and the cargo guy will send it to you to nigeria which makes your life very very easy it makes your overhead cost cheap so guys i'm so sorry i was distracted right there and um, guys i know you'll be hearing some noise in this video because my gen set is outside i live in nigeria man we got so much noise around here <laughs> so the major money that's um, required to be used in turkey is dollars so there are people there where you can send them your naira and they will convert it for you pay your manufacturer the equivalent in dollars for you and then they will ship your stuff to the cargo guys if you want to so depend on how 
you want it to be done if you want the if you contact the manufacturer and ask the manufacturer to ship your stuff they will ship it so you can have like five six manufacturers and ask them to send all your stuff together to a particular cargo guy and then you tell the cargo guy to collate all your stuff and put them in a bag and send it to you here in nigeria so when i used to um, do that business it was about three dollar fifty per pound i be per kg i can't remember anymore but if i give you some contacts you can ask them but it was three dollar fifty but now i think it has increased because i think now america is like five dollars something shipping from america to nigeria so it will be now it will be more expensive now shipping from turkey to nigeria so i don't want this video to be very very long so those are details you need every cap you can either contact your supplier to ship your things to your shippers or you contact your shipper to go pick your stuff yeah so it depends on you it depends on the, what you want to um decision you want to take i can't make that decision for you so when you contact a supplier they will send you pictures and the qualities texture of everything they own and then you go through the pictures and you know pick what you want and then send it back to them and then they will ship those things to you remember you're buying them in series of either six or three some of them comes in five okay so these are the things i can actually remember while i'm filming this video but if you think there's something i did not cover ask me in the comment section you might just trigger out some information in my head and i will give you that information because i'm making money together in this year okay so that is it for talking there's something they call fatura okay there's something they call fatura if you're somebody that wants to go there you have to be careful with these agents that take you around the fatura because if you're not careful they are going to take all your fatura they are going to take everything they're just going to consume your money so you have to shine your eye if you are in turkey okay you have to shine your eye so that at the end of the day if you're going to the airport you can collect your fatura from the government so fatura is like a tax return or a tax that you pay at the shop so while you're leaving the um, country you can actually collect let back is refundable as airport for you to take back to your country so to take back your money so depending on how much stuff you bought you can have this cash back to you but if you're not careful this whole agent they will collect all this your fatura and they'll be the owner of the fatura they'll go and claim it and take it and then still collect your shipping money so you have to be careful when you're doing business abroad or when you're buying stuff abroad okay but whether you like it or not you make a little one or two mistakes and i'll also encourage you if you're ordering stuff order it in small quantities first like buy like three four cereals make sure that you're comfortable with the sizes and everything the fabric before you start buying in bulk and another thing you have to understand is they have like they have people that sell plus size they are these people they are of plus size clothes they have dealers of you know trendy fashionable young girls clothes that are very trendy that's what this person is selling this person is selling big madam clothes so they don't sell things like um like different different like one person will be selling trendy clothes one person will be selling that the same person will be selling fashion they sell if you are selling plus size they will concentrate on plus size some companies sell just skirts they will concentrate on just skirts some companies sell shirts all they do is shirt some companies sell trouser uh, pant trouser all they do is pant trouser some companies sell jeggings all they do is jeggings so if you are buy you have to get supplier for all this whole product you want to buy so you see it's a bit stressful but if you put your mind to it you can do it like if you're somebody that sells um, fashionable stuff for young girls you like you know things that invoke i'll recommend favent favent is a shop in turkey T trust me when you buy stuff from them if you have young girls as as customers one will not remain your shop like one of their products will not remain your shop favent product goes bum 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 and they also have like plus size a bit of a, a big size for somebody like me like 
16, 18, they mix it with their clothes. So you can contact Favent. Yes, you can contact. So I'll put the spelling on the screen. Favent is very good. Sometimes some of these shops close down because sometimes when we go now, uh, let's say we we'll go this month and go to shop. By the time you go back next month, some of the shop they, they are out of business. You will not see them. So research. Make sure you check on their website to be sure that okay they are there so if i have favent uh, receipt i'm going to um, put them in the description box for you guys to see and then i'll go through this my post and i'll call one or two vendors for you so that you can contact them and start doing your importing business so this is the bag i used to put um, all my stuff some of my stuff as you can see this is the phone i was using every time i go to turkey this is the phone i was using um i've not even really opened it i've not opened it for a very long time the sim card is still in it i don't even know if this phone is still working because for years since it's still i've not even touched this phone i just brought it out now because of this video i want to do for you guys so these are all my turkey contacts and suppliers so these are all my talking come i'll just call a few for you guys and then we'll call it a day so this one is called veda yes this is called veda i don't know if you guys can see it i don't know if it's focusing oh my god yeah i think it's focusing now yeah um but i'll put the contact in the description box so this is called veda yes so veda they sell like trendy plus size women clothes trendy when i mean trendy trendy plus size women clothes their design are next to none when it comes to plus size women clothes if you have customers that like fashion and their plus size then you want to consider veda veda is very good i'm going to put their so let me a disclaimer this video was not sponsored at all this video was not sponsored i just felt like i'll do this video just to help my sisters out there to easily find vendors in turkey in case you want to order online so this video was not sponsored so don't feel like ah they paid for us come and do this video for us no i just thought i should do this video to help you since you guys were interested and some of you came to my instagram to ask me that's why i decided to share this information and how i've seen a lot of people struggling with getting you know um, um vendor list and i felt okay why not i have this information so why not share it for you because there's nothing i'm doing with this card so why not share it with you guys your customer is different from my customer everything fashion happens in istanbul there are other places in turkey but istanbul is the capital of fashion just like china is guanzu in turkey is istanbul everything copy copy dresses dnky original plus copy everything you find it in istanbul like sometimes you even find a source zara stuff i don't know how they get it but you will find it there in istanbul yes so i'm going to put this veda their contact in the description box for you guys to see if in case you need them okay don't forget to say thank you <laughs> so there are other things you can also get from Talking like ties i not used to buy ties door fittings toilet stuff so even if you're not into fashion business you're into um, um house house equipment or or furnitures or or house fittings you can also get this stuff in istanbul turkey all you need to do is just do your research because i know i used to buy some of those things there so all you need to do is do your research you can get them there so another so you see i have another card for veda i used to buy their stuff a lot as of those days because their stuff are very fashionable and then i have this one glow collection abby yes glow collection glow collection all they sell is cuts 
office skirts, different kind of skirt. That is all they say in their manufacturing, in their warehouse. So we go directly to their warehouse to buy. Some of them, they are not manufacturers. Some of them just have shop on the road. But these ones I'm giving you, their cars, are directly their manufacturers, okay? So we go there. If you need skirt of any type, you get it from Glow Collection, yes. Let me give you one more and... <laughs> We call it a day. Another one is Arias. Yes, Arias is. I love their tops. Their tops are so so trendy and fashionable. Arias. So I'll put some of their contacts in the description box for you. We have Last Rose. Last Rose. If you are that kind of person that sells all these beaded suits, all these suits that celebrity wear, all those suits that you know speak not like your regular suit those suit that politicians wife wear heavy suits you can get them from last rose last rose they are the one for you so i'm going to leave the contacts of all these people for you and even a cheap hotel where you can stay if you go to istanbul i'm going to also leave them in the description box for you i couldn't get any contact of my shippers but trust me if you're able to contact any of these manufacturers they will easily give you a shippers number if you want to buy stuff from them i hope this video helps you i know this video was a little bit all over the place because i was really really distracted but if you think there's something i did not cover please let me know in the comment section and i'm going to be replying to you please don't forget to subscribe please please don't forget to subscribe it will help me a lot until i see you in another video bye bye